guys, uh, I wanted to address an issue that's been coming across a lot lately as I'm teaching uh, over here in Colorado, but also uh, seeing some comments online about certain technique and it looks really cool to try and then they have a hard time doing it. And I just wanna explain why that is. First of all, uh, adults' brains are built to perform, not to learn as much as a kid's. A kid's is more about um, learning versus uh, performing. So that gives you a handicap as an adult to learn new things. So one thing I just want to mention is patience. You got to have patience for learning new things. And then the other part of that is to slow it down. So for example, if you're trying to learn a, a, a new forehand technique, right? Uh, maybe the drag swing that I was talking about here. And you know, the first thing you want to do though is, is have a, you know, a hand fed ball. So I'm going to be feeding from here, trying to hit a ball and going through the ball here. So I can see and hit it here. And then I would like somebody, or maybe even a ball machine, probably hard to have a ball machine at this close, but maybe at the service line, have someone feed you underhand from there. And now you're working on not just the technique, but when to start the technique. Because the ball is coming, some players will start too early and come up on the ball, and a ball goes in the net. Or maybe they're too late, and then they realize they're too late, and they get tight, and they swing really fast, because they weren't able to start the rack it had in front of them enough. So all of that is based on timing. So once you drop feet and starting to feel good about it, be patient and as you go, find a distance that you are comfortable with, with trying to learn this new form. So if you feel good at the service line, for example, have someone feed maybe right by, right in front of the net and maybe get try that and then have them feed on the other side of the net with a racket and then back up all the way to the baseline eventually. But you, once you start missing a lot, go back to the spot that you were comfortable in. Or I shouldn't say comfortable, but you were a little uncomfortable, but you could get the balls in at about 50% a success rate. And that will allow you to uh, feel challenged and start getting that stroke down. But it all starts with slowing it down with the drop feed. If you ever watch a, a lesson of mine or mostly any you know tennis pro, they're gonna drop feed from here to work on the form and not the timing or not the footwork. Once somebody goes over there, now you put in together the form with the proper timing of hitting it in front of you and getting to the ball too, moving your feet and getting to the ball. So you gotta remember that when you're doing this, it's all about staging it in the right increments. You can't just drop a ball and hit it and go, I feel great, and then start hitting baseline with somebody. You're gonna get really frustrated. So take it one step at a time you're gonna see a lot more success. And everyone learns at different paces, but as long as you're committed to that progression, you're going to see a lot of success. So give it a shot and hopefully that will help.